Wait, Mirror B may have appeared. Okay, so we got the Mirror Radar going off. And the two goons are here. For once, it's actually not interrupting. Blah, woo, did I ever pig out. That was the first decent food I've had in too long, I tell you. Gee, had you not had decent food in five years? Just a wild guess. Worry about my future, you know. Maybe I really need to consider changing my lifestyle. Now, what are you going on about, Folly? You're not your usual self. Don't tell me you've gotten the boss's dream. We're going to own all the Pokemon in the whole wide world. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Achoo! Achoo! Oh, boss! He even walks out of a restaurant style. Whoa! Did I overhear you two talking about me? Oh, well, if it isn't that super aggravating little boy who served me up a bit of memory at the Poke Spout! Whoa! What perfect timing! For a little exercise after my meal, I'll wipe you out with my elegant steps! Let the music start! Oh, you could take anyone out with those dances. Just look at him go, man! And then he just... Psh, he has stars pop out of his hand. Man, he's like... Uh, you know... I do kind of miss the disco music that he had, though. But man, he's totally going for a more Michael Jackson look now. Of course, he's bring that off after I say he doesn't have it. <laughs> um, I made some changes to my uh, team. I decided to equip uh, Layron with the leftovers because I don't feel like it needs the experience share anymore because it's caught up in levels. And um, in exchange, I have given the le uh, the experience share to Jinzo as it is pretty far from evolving. And of course, both of them avoid the attack. Neither of them hits. Of course. Kind of. You know, Mir B, I thought you were all about the moves. You know, you're always all like, watch my moves, and like, I'm gonna throw you down with my spectacular moves, and stuff like that. But no, you don't got the moves. I mean, you got the moves, yeah, but your Pokemon don't got the moves. I mean, you gotta make it so your Pokemon got the moves. I'm starting to talk like him, holy crap. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, even though I just kind of barely did under have his health, I'm going to just throw a ball on Sphil's turn because I'm a little bit worried about getting a really good damage roll and taking it out, and I don't have my snack machine. Um. Well, um, I bet a lot of you guys that were sh watch uh, saw the last video were laughing pretty dang hard when I did my bio and when I was saying I don't want to KO it. See, you get so used to having the snack machine, you don't remember when you don't have it. I'm sorry. I was at least able to do it against Zook, but here it just sort of slipped my mind. I didn't notice that my left arm is bald. Okay. Bye, nose pass. Sorry I had to KO you. Bye. I feel so dirty just KOing Shadow Pokemon like that on purpose. I'm sorry, I just did lose a bad taste of my mouth. I shouldn't have done something that strenuous right after eating. <laughs> and he just lays down. Well, he's got to take a rest. You know, he said that he shouldn't have worked himself so strenuous under eating. He's got to take a rest. Oh, my ball is evolving. <laughs> you have 24 hours. Oh, how dare you. I say, how dare you. Next time I put things right and lay down my elegant steps. Let's go. Escape. I would say that he doesn't run in style, but man, he is running in high heels, and he deserves kudos for even being able to run in high heels to begin with. <laughs> you got? See, the new Cyber has been brazen about what they did this time around. I wonder, where'd they take all the Pokemon that were on the SS Libra? Interesting, and... ah, this couple is so adorable. They're here on a date, and they refuse to use chairs for some reason. Hi, we've been traveling around the Aura region. We've been jogging the whole time. Why don't you come run with us? Wow, they are so into jogging, they refuse to even use chairs. Here, just to the north. Passed a ball fleeing from Cypher's Key Lair. I was, if passed a ball fleeing from Cypher's Key Lair. It's in a desolate spot. Okay. Can't believe that these people were able to just jog around this desert. Yo, wait up, wait up. This should look familiar. Hey, my name's Willie. I remember who you are now, kid. You're the kid that sent Cypher Packet and Fennec, aren't you? You were on TV. Hey, listen. Let's have a battle, you and me. Sure, I'll give you the time of day. Yeehaw, that's the spirit. All right, all right, over here, this way. I'm sorry, though, but this just looks kind of funny having him battle against Michael instead of Wes. Yeah! Now I'm burning out. I'm on fire. It's full throttle time. Vroom, vroom. Let's roll. This guy is so lame. He's about as manly as his pink hair. Then again, people seem to think the pink hair is manly. And, oh, this battle theme. I love it. Sorry, I don't mean to keep getting sidetracked, though, but I love this battle theme. 
So good. Such good music. Glad to hear this battle theme come back of all battle themes. I was sad we didn't hear it more in Coliseum, but hey, at least we get to hear it in the sequel. All right. So just like last time, he has got two zigzagoons. I don't know what he's thinking he's going to do with two zigzagoons, but he's got them. I guess that means something, right? Anyway, that actually sounds very suggestive the way I'm saying that. I'm going to withdraw Jinzo just because I forgot to switch it out of the party. Or switch it out of the uh, lead spot. And let's throw up Billy Bob. I don't think that he's going to be able to take down Billy Bob no matter how hard he tries. I mean, really? Two zigzagoons? Seriously? We're probably going to be getting one damage is even more often with how much higher my defense is going to be from evolving. So down goes that one. And... Never mind one damage, he didn't even get to do anything on his first turn. We just KO'd both of his Pokemon before he even got to attack. Or even got to move, for that matter. So, what are his last two Pokemon? Linoon! So we actually have an Evolve Zigzagoon. Wow, dude! Only took you five years to level up two Zigzagoons enough to evolve, man. Ah, oh, man, you are a great trainer, man. Only two years to evolve two Zigzagoons? Man, you're awesome. Ah, uh, he's just going for Celio. Ah, oh, well. Okay. And my paw flinched! <laughs> I know that its nickname is not fitting anymore, though, but I'm sorry. That's just, that's, that's really funny to me. I, I, I don't get it. Oh, crap. Is it gonna... Yep. <laughs> really? I'm having this much trouble against a Zigzagoon trainer. This is just absolutely shameful. I, I'm just having really rotten luck slash... Am very ill prepared after that battle with Mir B. Let's just take it out. If this doesn't take it out, seriously, I'm just having the ultimate bad luck. Gah! Worst part is that probably could have taken it out too. It's just that I got unlucky with the damage roll. All right, let's end this already. God, I have to bring out Voltaire. To do I have to bring out Voltaire to do everything, guys? Thank you. We're done here. Uh, sorry I made fun of you, Willy. Apparently you're pretty dang good for a guy that uses Zigzagoon. And he just lays down like, what is it with people laying on down on the ground outside of Outskirts Stand? That's like all anyone ever does around here. I mean, first Mir B, now this guy.